Hello everyone, welcome back to Appopedia and this video is cover the challenge under the CESFO certification maintenance sprint 23. So here we have some cues. I will give the answers in the description box. We will do the challenge here only. So the challenge is saying that we have to create a lightning record page under the case object and we have to clone a CESFO's default page and we have to set some component visibility priority equal to high and in this way we can achieve this challenge. So let's start this challenge. So I have launched the playground. I have to go to the setup page. Once the setup page is loaded, we will search about the object which is case. So here we can search case. Inside the case, we have to go for the lightning record page and we need to create a, which I have already created. Let me delete and recreate for you. So we have to create a new record page under this case object. Either you can come from this manner or you can directly go into the setup and directly search for lightning app builder. So this is the app builder. We can directly open this one and click a new button. Once the new button tab is open, it will ask for the object as well. So either through the object or directly you can use a app. So we need to create a new lightning page type of record. So label we need to keep exactly the same which we are asking. So they are asking enhance case layout. So let's keep the same name and the object would be the case one and next now they are asking for clone a Salesforce default page so we need to here it is written template would be the case group view so we have to go to the group view and this is the group view okay and we have to click next and it is created so now we have to set some upgradation for the pages once you have to click the tab on the top so they will ask for upgrade upgrade to dynamic action you can now configure dynamic action for the highlight panel in the lightning app so this is a new feature that's what they're giving a maintenance certification to learn this part so that's the reason there and we have to go for a migrate start action from the existing page layout as we are cloning the case group page so that's what we are migrating it and we will select a case layout and we have to click next and finish so now we have a first header is done now we have to go for exactly same with the other panel as well so we will select the panel it is not there then we have a second panel this panel needed to be there so it's it's upgraded the same thing we will repeat for every panel with the case layout and finish and the other panel is wave information Again, the wave information panel is already upgraded. So this is other thing is we have to add some priority. So now the upgradation version is done for the dynamic form. Now we have to set a component visibility for the additional information section. So only when the priority equals high. So we have to keep this uh, priority things inside the additional information so this is a component visibility now we have to keep a priority under the record field equals high and done now we have to upgrade for the other panel so there is no upgradation because we have already done for the whole panel okay so now we have done with this now we are activating the page so that much only we have to do and select and at the end we have to activate once activation is done then only we can able to see the changes so we have they are saying for upgrade a new page for the org default only we are not going for app default anything you can open uh, choose either diff or desktop phone or both and then we are selecting for both and then we can save it so now this activation is setting is also done now we will test our challenge it should be complete for sure we are following each and every stage properly so let's hope for the completion so now you can see we have achieved this one so i just always keep the feedback on 
and that's it for this video we will meet in the next video bye bye